Welcome back to Veteran Idiot. I'm Art, the idiot. I'm about to do some idiot stuff today, and you're gonna join me. It is really hot out. I need to put some cover on before I burn the dome. At least we got a little bit of, I wouldn't really call it overcast, but there's some clouds in there. Today, we got something fun because it's gonna make the day a little bit cooler. I got this industrial sized swamp cooler here. It's supposed to cool down like 20,000 square feet, which should do perfectly for my 800 square foot shop. Yeah, that'll do. But got this guy for free. My dad had it <clears throat> he'd been trying to give it to me for quite some time. I just never went up and grabbed it, but went up and grabbed it, went through it, cleaned it up, fired it up. This thing moves some air as evidenced by this clip. So it should do nicely. Ended up going to the store, getting all the stuff I needed for it. It's like $500 in duct work. It's just astronomical in the prices. But what we gotta do, and I'm sure I'm gonna have to go back, but what we gotta do right now is that we are gonna tee off of this pipe here, go inside, and then we're gonna go up, go up, around, down the whole length of the roof, and then down and out to the swamp cooler. Swamp cooler is gonna be on that side over there. I'm also gonna put a T in here because I wanna put a sink on the inside on that side. But like I say, it's gonna come through the wall over here and then travel up and across all the way down. That's just the easiest way for me. I'm not gonna go outside, I'm not gonna bury it. It'll be just fine up here in the rafters and then down and out over here somewhere probably over, well, we'll stay away from the electrical. We'll come out over here and into the swamp cooler. The ducting for the swamp cooler is gonna come out there and go up and then down the length of the entire shop. And I got four registers for it and uh, six inch, <laughs> six inch ducting. So that's gonna be a massive amount of air. Wrong. Moving through a little tiny hole. So it should have some velocity if it doesn't blow the registers off. Wrong. The end. Probably keep it on uh, low speed, but as you can see, it came with a massive hole for a duct, which I can already see is gonna be a problem. You know what, that's all right. We'll figure it out, no big deal. All right, let's get working on this. So you're probably wondering why I went and picked up this massive swamp cooler for the shop. Well, as you can see, there is no insulation in this bad boy. And even though this swamp cooler works really well, you gotta be pointed at you uh, for it to work. So as soon as you step out of the line of fire for this, it's hot in all directions and it stays like about 100 degrees. Swamp cooler was free, ducting was not, but it was gonna be worth it. We'll put it in here, make it nice and cool in here. Plus I need that room down there and we'll move that swamp cooler somewhere else. Uh, but I need the room down there. I gotta get rid of some engines and stuff like that. It's just cluttered, really, really cluttered. So without further ado, let's start fixing this water figure out what else we need to go pick up from the store to add to our bill. take long before I forgot something. I didn't get any couplers to go from that one to the next one. 
to the next one. And I also got to get some straps for the pipe to run it all the way down. Maybe another elbow there to come over and another elbow down. So I'm gonna run and grab that real quick. All right, I'm back. So I got what I think is a good combination to make this work. And I'll show you more on that in a minute when we get out to that side for the swamp cooler. The ducting is still kind of a mystery. I'm trying to figure out how to get that giant duct that's on there. I think it's like 16 inches or something, neck down to six. And it's gonna be some high velocity air, but. Wrong. It's gonna be 111 in two days, so. I'd really like to be able to work in the shop, and I'm sure you guys would like to see more projects. But, uh, all right, so I'm gonna finish up running the pipes across the top here, out the other side, and we'll finish up all the water first, and then I'll really start to look into the ducting and figure out if what I have is the way I wanna go, or if I need to try and do something else. Let's finish the water first. Yeah. is all done should be able to turn the water on now and be good to go pressurize this whole baddie all right let's turn the water on and see what we get we're already turned on here to here so let's turn this on all right no leaks there no leaks in here this will go to my sink that I'm gonna put in here for washing los manos and then shut off valve to the swamp cooler Let's turn this bad guy on. See if the pipe explodes. Oh. There we go. I don't see any drips so far. Looks good. Let's go look out there. Right on. Sweet. We gotta get another fitting for that before we can put in the swamp cooler, but we'll be able to level out this ground and everything after I get all the duct work in. And so we'll go ahead and jump on that duct work now while there's still daylight even though I can use the lights in the shop. Listen, don't critique me. I'm doing the best I can. All right, so what I gotta do with this stack is I gotta get it all put together. That way I know the height and everything that I'm gonna go up into the ceiling there, and that'll give me the distance down, and then I can drill a hole there, and we'll level out the swamp cooler wherever that may end up. That's the least amount of cutting on all this BS and all that so let's go ahead and get this all put together with duct tape and screws and everything else we can find and get it put up in the wall
Welcome back. It's the next morning. <clears throat> it was getting late. I was getting tired, hungry, so I called it quits. But what we ended up getting done before I rolled out was got the vent in, put the hole in the wall, put it in. I got to move it over just a little bit. It's kind of uh, not centered up at the top there. But now we just got to hang this duct and then put the rest of our registers in. There's going to be this one here is at 10 feet from the wall or from the top up there. So 10 feet. And then it'll be every five feet from there. So I'll have four registers that will run across the roof and down. And they'll end right before the garage door there. Right up in there. But one thing is that it came out to a drip down here. This fitting is leaking, so we got to cut that out, replace that fitting. And also... It had a drip over here and that fitting is leaking that little elbow so we got to cut that out and replace it too me and i should kind of suspect that something like that would happen because my cement's been sitting out here in the 130 140 degree shop all summer last summer and then the beginning of this one so Shame on me, should have bought some new one. Anyways, so I just need to goop it up better, twist it around, get it nice and sealed. But we'll replace that fitting and that fitting over there and then get this hung up. Actually, I'll hang this first while it's still somewhat cool out here and then we'll change out those fittings. That's what we'll do. That way we can get ready to put this bad dog on the ground. We need to level a spot for it. And I need extra hands, so we'll wait till uh, Mighty Mouse and Mrs. Shirts get home and we'll slide it off the trailer and throw it on the ground over there. Alright, breakfast. Hey, I got something, something to say. I'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain. I know it's tough and I know there's pain. But hitting bottom is the only way to change. So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing You've got nothing, I'll keep hustling We're about done with the hanging the duct work. Got to pick up an aim cap for that wand down on the end so I can finish that last hanger. I have never done anything like this before. It is not the prettiest, but it's gonna be good enough. Learned a couple things. You gotta double check your measurements on the actual ducting itself. Um, so I wanted to start with 10 here. The whole thing is supposed to be 25 feet long, all the way down. But started with 10 feet here, cause I don't usually do anything over here but store stuff. So 10 feet to this one and then it was going to go every five after that but got here realized there was only eight feet left this way so i did four here and then this one turned out to be like three so it kind of gets shorter as it goes down uh, 
we'll just pretend like that's what we meant to do and we'll tell people that as long as you guys can keep a secret that's about it in here now we're ready to start leveling it out outside hopefully the shadow is cast over the east side of the building by now and uh, we can get that thing set up let's go outside so here's what we're working with out here got the duct and the hose and everything out here you need to move all this crap out of the way and the cooler will sit right in this area sideways the duct will come out and over and then in to the wall there you need to clear all this out of the way and we'll do that now shazam like that all cleared out all right let's level this joint shazam all right here's where we stand it's just a little bit necked down from like 24 inches to 12 to 8 to 6 should flow great lots of pressure this guy is wrong this guy is all wrong anyways needs to come up quite a bit i'll start leveling it you the jack stands in the back and just kind of go back and forth until i get it up fading away from us. I hooked it up to the extension cord just to see it. It's really quiet. I think it's necked down way too much, unfortunately. I've got some areas where I can patch some flow. Built a stand for it. It's all set up. And tomorrow, we'll just scoot the stand around, get it lined up better, and then route the water over to it, and then put the plug in the wall. So. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Good morning. It is 1,000 degrees outside today. I was hoping to get this done before today, but it doesn't appear that that's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to work through it. Uh, there is no air blowing out of these vents. None. Zippo. Zilch. Nada like a cool breeze. This tube's inflated. I think I got a blockage somewhere. Wall vent is expanded, like it's got pressure in it. So I think I got a blockage somewhere. It's, you would, unless it's neck down too far, but you think if it was neck down, it'd be kind of be uh, like a leaf blower almost, like it would increase the velocity, but. I'm no aeronautics engineer, so I have no idea. There's some. Coming out of this vent, maybe we just got too many vents. I don't. But I need to hook up water out there and then we'll come back in here and diagnose this no air movement in this 120 degree shot. Might have to uh, turn on old trusty over here until we get that figured out. All right, I'm gonna go stand in the sun for a while. All right, so this float inside twisted. I'll show you that in a second, but we got to put this copper line on here and then fend it all the way around and over towards the front here. And uh, it's hot. It's like I live in Arizona or something. Oh, that could take a finger off. So here's what we're looking at in here. Somebody tightened it up and spun it and so now the float is going the wrong direction we gotta spin it back around so we'll sit in there i already cleaned this water once that's how dirty these pads were i have to kick on the drain pump drain all that sucker out gross Turns out a dark shirt on this day was a terrible idea. I am literally milk. 
in a shocking revelation, the camera overheated while I was out there. But I got the water all hooked up. One of the hose fittings is leaking just cheap garbage that I got to replace and keep chasing down. Which is funny because it's not actually cheap. It's really expensive these days, but anyways, I'll figure that one out. And that one's just like a hose, a short hose that's leaking. Everything else is hooked up. Float's working good. Now we need to figure this out. So I'm going to start here, take this end off, see if I can't see through and down um, what's blocking. Maybe Hopefully it's like right here within arm's reach because this tube is completely inflated. Oh, it's air going through there. It is wide open on this end. And there's lots of flow. I'm wondering if it's just too, too much neck down. It's not very cool. Listen, don't expect all of your seven, eight hundred dollar projects with your free cooler to be cool. This may be a win some lose some situation. Alright then. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna run to the store, get some uh, foamy strips, try and seal this thing off, and uh, Maybe we can get some cooler air flowing through there. That thing should be pumping cold air. This thing pumps pretty cold air. Even though it's a million degrees outside, there should be decently cool air coming through that thing. And it is, it's just like if air was passing by. It's not cold in any way. Um, so let's go do that. And that may be the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back if it doesn't, doesn't work. Shazam! And I'm back. So, it is as I had feared. The um, barrel fan in the Swan Cooler requires unrestricted forward flow of air. Uh, it doesn't create any pressure at all, so I'm neck down too much and just creating back pressure and the air is swirling inside the, the barrel and not going anywhere else. Oh, see, now he gets it. <laughs> so, all of this money and ducting is going up on uh, Facebook Marketplace. And I'm just gonna do this 12 inch right through the wall and blast it across the shop. And that'll do the same thing as this guy. Just at much more volume. Sweet, all right, so, mm. yep, let's do it. Simple as that. Just a hole in the wall. Instead of all this business. That right there, only like $120 for that stuff. It doesn't, however, include the copper hose, or the copper line, and uh, everything else I did to make the outside work, plus all the PVC pipe and the water line, and all that stuff. So I'd probably say I'm more like $250 into putting this together had I done it the right way the first time rather than putting all this crap in. That stuff was the expensive part. That's all right. I'm going to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to make some money back. I'm sure somebody's looking for this kind of stuff for something. 
maybe they're putting in a mini split, something like that. Maybe I should have done that in the first place, but the air coming out of here is about 60, 60 degrees, 55, 60 degrees. That's half of what it is ambient outside. So that's pretty freaking good. Show you in a second, I went out and I insulated everything, taped it all off. Um, it's already dropped about 10 degrees in the shop itself. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it closed up in here and see what kind of uh, temperature we can actually get it down to. Maybe wait like an hour or two hours, something like that. See what it comes down to. That thing's moving a lot of air. You can feel it about 20 feet from the wall, blowing pretty good, uh, blowing all the leg hairs. So, all right, let me go show you what we got outside. So here's what we ended up with. Ended up using a 12 inch with an elbow, insulated all of it. Uh, this actual duct here was really cold. So insulated that, hopefully we can keep some of the coolness in. Yeah, I get it, when it rains, that stuff's gonna get nasty and moldy, whatever, it's fine. Copper line, run up to a filter. Always wanna have a filter on there, keep some of that uh, calcium out of the, and minerals out of the actual uh, evaporator pallet or pads. And then I put a Y just in case I wanna water some plants over here. I still need to switch out this cord. It's a six wire telephone cable. Only thing I can find is a four. So we'll find something that'll work. Maybe some swamp cooler shops or something's got that. I still gotta put this panel hole back together, but, and the platform needs to move forward still, but it's all sealed up, good to go. So, learned some stuff being my first time ever doing this. Uh, swamp coolers are pretty straightforward. Just let them blow lots of air. They don't have pressure, they can't uh, be restricted in any kind, just a big open hole in a giant duct if you got a giant duct, but uh, once you start necking it down, it doesn't push forward. It sits stagnant in the uh, barrel fan and then you got nothing. So, lessons learned, money's lost but I'll be happy with what I got in there. It is already significantly cooler in there. So let's wait an hour, see what we got inside. All right, it has been a couple hours and I walked in the door. It is 113 degrees outside. It is significantly cooler in here right now. Let's see if I can get a reading. Just about 90 degrees, just after a couple hours of running. And uh, I think a 23 degree shift between inside and outside. And uh, that is, to me, that's a win. And it is, I think, way cooler than what this is actually reading in here. Because it feels really comfortable in here. And I could definitely work in this temperature. Apparently soaking the flies. That one just tried to be eaten. It's cool in here. I will take it. That's a win. That's gonna do it for my do's and don'ts of doing your own swamp cooler in your shop. Uh, the do's are just plug it right into the side of your shop. Don't try and do anything else with it. Just a straight hole straight from the barrel fan straight into the shop or from the roof but don't get any of this ducting. It was a complete waste of money. Had I known or done this before, that wouldn't have been a mistake, but man, the flies are really enjoying this cool air. I'm gonna go ahead and start killing some of these here shortly, but uh, just a waste. I'm gonna sell them, we'll call it a day. But beyond that, let me know what you guys have done, things that have worked. Do you hang ice in front of the swamp cooler? Do you put ice in the thing in the back? What do you do? This fly is aggressive. Anyways, let me know what you guys have done, what works best for you. And we really got a, a leg up here in Arizona because it's like negative 10% humidity here. It's so dry, it's ridiculous. So the, the evaporation works really well. But uh, let me know what tricks you guys have done and uh, what works the best for you. And I'm gonna spend some time killing some flies. So I can actually enjoy a shop and clean it up. Thanks for watching. As always, have fun. Get out of here!